This spreadsheet simulates a gambling session at the casino, or rather eight gambling sessions at the casino, represented by each of the eight runs. The average of each run after 200 hands, which is shown for each run in row five, is uh, those values are all averaged, and the average leaving amount from those eight players is shown in cell F2. The starting amount, leaving amount, bet, and how set for the particular game can all be set in cell A2, and the results can be observed by changing any one of those values. The spreadsheet uses a random number generator that uses a mathematical function to calculate the result or the outcome of a given hand or spin of the roulette wheel in this case, and uh, the different effects can be studied. This particular game can only show even money bets, although other bets could be constructed if the if function were varied. However, the starting amount of $100 could be changed to $50, in which case all the players would start with $50. If any of the players reach $110, then they'll walk away, and that can be viewed by scrolling down where some of the players in this particular run reached the $110, while others have lost everything. And by recalculating over several hundred cells, the person conducting the activity can understand how that basically the house always wins. The bigger the house edge, typically the lower the average leaving amount, but since this is based on random number generators which produce numbers at random, the outcomes can be contrary to what you would predict if you start with $100 and won't leave unless you have $1,000, then most likely you'll lose in most of your runs, but pressing delete can cause the random number generator to recalculate, and you can see there are a small number of trials where the player actually does make money. For instance, trial six, three hundred twenty dollars there. But for the most part, people lose when they go to the casino, and it's extremely unlikely to be up more than a few hundred dollars after two hundred hands much more likely that the player is down as can be seen by running simulation after simulation. Go to www.spreadsheetlabmanual.com to learn more and how this and many other activities in physics, chemistry, biology, and mathematics can be used at the high school level and beyond.